Oh my god. Wait! Oh my gosh! Are two of the Sims hooking up? Okay, well then we're not gonna go for him then. Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey Dangerous, and today we're playing The Sims 4 Not So Very Challenge. It's a challenge of The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations, and each generation is based on a specific color and has specific requirements that you have to complete in order to start the next generation. Right now we are on Generation Mint, and the requirements are Master the Scientist's Career and Chief of Mischief Aspect inspiration, master mischief and logic skills, and complete the elements collection. So we are still pretty early days in all of that process, but I think we're moving along pretty well. I recorded episode one and two before the first episode was live for you guys, so I didn't react to the comments in episode two, but I am able to read all of your comments and suggestions in episode three. I noticed a lot of you, a lot of you were very helpful and helping me find that you could make the lashes as skin details. I did did know about that after the fact of me filming that episode, but I'm updated it now so she can technically have lashes and glasses. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Oh, and thank you for telling me. We'll fix that today, and hopefully you guys have uploaded some of your sims to the gallery. If you didn't already upload it, I will be also checking in episode four, so do not worry. I'm definitely interested today in like looking for love, you know? Made her first good friend. I would love her to have a bigger group of friends that kind of like her bubbly, you know, mischief-making personality, and it seems like a lot of people that she's met so far have been pretty straight-laced, so they don't vibe with it, so hopefully Hopefully we'll find some people that you guys have made that love that about her. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video goes live. And also make sure to give this a like if you wanna keep seeing this series on the channel. So I'm gonna use the hashtag Kelsey, not so Barry. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there's a rival. Look at this. Sage, she was the most popular girl in high school and she had a very deep hatred towards Mint because she wanted to be the only girl in school with colorful hair, but nobody believed Mint when she said anything because Sage's angelic looks made all the adults love her. So Sage had a thing out for Mint and Mint is Mint vibes. I'm definitely going to give it a little heart and say love. And then I'm going to place the rival. She's gonna move there. He cute, okay. He's also nice and red, which of course is the next generation. Born and raised in Evergreen Harbor, Blaze has learned to care a lot about the environment and his community. That's why he enjoys his stable career as an ecotech scientist. Oh, he's also a scientist. Due to his success, he's finally ready to pursue his longtime high school crush, Min. Oh, I love that you guys are all making people from her high school. Hopefully we run into Blaze at some point. He's a grade A cutie. Like, look at this guy. He's got a going on you guys have great taste oh my gosh how cute is this girl she's rainbow and she totally looks like mint vibe okay i'm gonna put her in here yes 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 artsy musician this guy cute tobias is a goofball music lover and loves the outdoors he's successful as a musician but also finds fun in every little thing would no doubt love mint springs he was created for kelsey's not so very challenge i love him maybe he's living with her partner in crime right now as friends i don't want every sim to live on their own. He be cute too! You guys went in on the cute characters. I love that. He can move in with the partner in crime house too. Hello world, meet Annabelle, a true villain to all. She's a villain! Annabelle can live with the mince rival. I think they would be good friends. They'd be besties. Ooh, party girl Dawn is a cutie. She's also looking to make new friends and have fun and get to trouble with. She's a total cutie and get others pregnant. Oh, so she could be a close friend or a potential love interest. Either way, I love that. We'll see. I feel like I'm gonna just essentially let Mint decide who she's attracted to of all of your guys' sims. I wanna say a big thank you guys for number one, watching this series and liking it already, and number two, for making all these sims for me. These are all adorable. I love them. Is it love or is it hate? He's a hottie. He's the perfect match for a minty queen of mischief. They could be partners in crime a lot over the neighborhood and start a dynasty together. Or is he just too similar? Maybe there's only room to add for one prankster and they'll be mortal enemies. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really vibing freckles lately. Mint doesn't have freckles, I don't think. So she's gonna have to marry into the frecks, you know? <gasps> Someone made Harry Styles from <laughs> You guys know I do love, love an IRL person in this. Oh, wow, that's a really good Harry Styles. I don't know if Mint should date Harry Styles, but I do think that Mint should be best friends with Harry Styles. Oh my gosh, it's Mel! Mel, thank you. Oh, I love her gap tooth! She 
she's really cute as well. We'll put her in with the love it or hate it guy. And so all your Sims that I've downloaded are roommates. Keep uploading some Sims. I'd love to keep inhabiting my world and replacing Tauties with your beautiful creations. Keep using the hashtag Kelsey not so Barry. Also, someone did mention I could use debug in order to decorate the outside. Uh, that's a very good idea. Very smart, very smart. I want something over here. That's cute. I need to do debug. Show hidden objects. Here's some cute flowers here. I wanna do like an outdoor backyard situation. Or we could just do two of these, two of these elm trees. Get the green, green grass going. I almost like the flower box here better and then delete it over here. I really like this plant for some reason. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I used up all my money. All right, hold up. I feel like there should be some sort of column. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna fix this house someday. Today is not the day, unfortunately, for us. Myth, you're so tired, I'm so sorry. Okay, go to sleep. And Hazel is wondering if I should go over to her house and hang out. I would love to, Hazel, but I really do need to sleep. Why is Eliza panting? She's gonna go take a walk, I'll be right back. Wait, was Eliza at our home? Oh, you don't have work today, it's Saturday. We have the whole weekend, this is perfect. Go get your mail, man. She collected everything in the mailbox. I'm gonna look through all of the elements that we got. Oh my gosh, we have so many. I think we already have that one. No, we don't. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay, that one's new. Oh, that one's new. Oh guys, I think we're getting close. So we only have four left. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you probably do need to vacuum after you eat. It's only 5 a.m. It might be a little early to go out. Oh, she's already had six breakthroughs and she's excellent. Junior Tinker is level three of scientists, so... We're getting closer. Ooh, maybe we should make this little entrance area a little more nice. We gotta get some hanging plants in, in this house because how cute is that? What I really wanted was like the gear. Yeah, this little thing. And like a little shoe rack maybe where she puts her little shoes and she comes in the house. And then we need some side tables, I think. That's nice. Wait, I can now put stuff in the kitchen. I forgot I could put doodads in the kitchen, the kitchen stuff. Oh, these are cute. Little cacti, private journal, so cute. There you go, she's got a little private journal and then in the kitchen, she could have like a little thing like that. Oh, and that's about all I can do. Well, I don't love this as much, so we're gonna sell that. Who's this? It's Chelsea, drop everything. It's Chelsea and Peach Schmay. Should Chelsea get married? Oh my gosh, friendly introduction. So this is part of my mods where my Sims will start kind of like doing their own thing. Get to know Chelsea, ask if single. Are you single? <gasps> She's not single. Chelsea is married. She's a mom tuber. <laughs> And she's married to Simeon's silver sweater, which we know is false because she's obviously married to Craig. This is on me for not downloading Craig and making them married. Ugh, I hate it, I'm so annoyed. I love that she's a mom tuber though. That's absolutely hilarious. Let me know in the comments if I should break her up and then make her get with, and re-download Craig and make her get with Craig. And then I want them to play together. Oh, Chelsea says, I have to go to this thing. So I'll see you another time. Number one, she married a Sims townie and number two, that townie is a magician. There's nothing wrong with being a magician, but you know, I think she should spend the day at the park because she could play chess at the park, but she could also meet new Sims at the park. We need to achieve a level six of the mischief seal. All right, let's travel by ourselves. It's the flipping weekend, baby. We're about to have us some fun. Oh, this is Wolfgang. I mean, Wolfgang's, he's a teen. So not anyone we're interested in, but we might as well go sit with Wolfgang and do some chess while I'm waiting to see if any of our Sims show up. He's feeling flirty. Mm, not with us, boy. Calm down, child. But she could be like, mischievous with him. Ooh, we're almost level five. Oh, it's really awkward and embarrassing. Okay, ooh, and he left! <laughs> he left her because he's like, I don't even wanna finish this game. Oh my gosh, I just saw Orange Bailey Moon making some messes and I almost was like, I need to discipline this kid, but it ain't my kid! Why don't you play with Julia Wright? Since like no one seems that interested in talking to her, I think we should just cause mischief and like get it over with. <laughs> Maybe this is more for families. So why don't so you, Bono, mischievous, Bono, pretend to be Bono, slapped? Bono. Oh, she's cramped. Oh, poor baby. She's outside just trying to make friends. Ooh, but we reached level five of mischief. Good job, man. I guess fight with neighborhood brawl day. I don't know. Fast. 
Mint is getting into her first fight because it's neighborhood brawl day. I don't love this. Everyone's watching. This is really awkward. Also, we won. Oh, they hugged it out after. Okay, I guess it's like a thing now is to use the neighborhood brawl day. The park is clearly not the place to be. There are mainly just children here and grown-ups with the children. Let's go to the coffee shop and see if we have better luck there. Go friendly, introduce yourself to some of these sims, Mint, and then be mischievous with them. Pretend to be slapped. I feel like that's always a good one because they get to slap you and it's funnier if they're doing it together. See, they laughed about it. I really, really thought that maybe some of your sims would show up at the coffee shop. And it's just Chelsea over here on a laptop just vibing. And she's married now. I am so annoyed she's not in a peach -ish May anymore. Wolfgang again? Oh, our nemesis Wolfgang. Except for he's not a nemesis. He's just a team that like wasn't vibing us. None of this is successful. She's so unlucky with love. Since we're at the coffee shop, why don't we just order some food? No one here is of interest. No one here is worth looking at more than once. Who's this? Meredith? Meredith's kind of cute. Oh, never mind. She looks super mad. Can you just eat that for me, please? She doesn't look like she's eaten any of it. There we go. She's eating now. Now that she ate, let's visit the nightclub. We'll invite Hazel, her BFF. She's gonna go party. She's gonna go dance the night away. Take her mind off things for a little bit. Hopefully she'll meet someone there that catches her eye. Try to calm Hazel down. Be like, Hazel girl, what's up? Why are you so mad? Look, it's beautiful out. Is this her party look? I need a night on the town look for men. Maybe she's not a club kind of girl. <laughs> None of her outfits scream. I'm going to a club tonight. I think she might've helped Hazel calm down a little. Yay, she did. I don't know what she should do. Should she go dancing? I mean, flipping Clara Bjergsen's here and Clara Bjergsen is not where the party's at. No music is playing in this club. It is so boring. There's people at the bar, but that's about it. She's chatting with some people, but risky hookup in closet. Wait, why? No, she hasn't even met this guy. She's uncomfortable because she's tired. Ugh, she had such a long day out. Nobody here. Ugh. It feels like every time I try to do something nice for Mint, it just fails. Like, why is her life such a fail right now? It's so sad. She's really putting in the effort. You know what? I'm taking you home, girl. You're tired. You're about to like crash on a couch. Aw, you didn't meet the love of your life today. But you know what? You can't hurry love. No, you'll just have to wait, all right? Love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. Oh, who's that? Arika Kibo. Friendly introduction to Arika. He's not one of your guys' sims, but he cute. Hi, Arika. They're vibing out. Everyone else is looking at this other guy that's apparently joking around. Ask about relationship. What relationship? Is he dating someone? I thought we were having some fun together. Wait, oh shoot. It's their relationship. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. That's on Kelsey. Joke about politicians. Oh, he liked it. Okay, it's all good. Open some profile. Perceived as attractive, but not like crazy attractive. She's just like, he's cute. Oh, she's so tired. All right, we're gonna take her home. Well, that was a very long day out for our Saturday. We didn't accomplish much. That was such a fail. I'm so annoyed, but it's fine. We have Sunday. We got a whole nother day before work happens again. So we will maybe do some little things here and there for her. Then we're gonna take a nice shower and then we're going to have of a nice onigiri. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay, we collected a couple elements. I wonder if we already have them. <gasps> oh, only three left. I hope they're not super hard. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you need pepper and onigiri. Also, I don't know if it looks like a salad ever. What is she making again? <laughs> the animation for this is honestly bizarre. I don't think that's how you make onigiri at all, but it looks really tasty, so. I hear you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market and show you how to pro gets a great price. All right, let's go. Sunday is gonna be fun day, okay? Anyone here that's cute? Is this one of our cuties that we downloaded? Jamie a peachy tree. I mean, Jamie is a cutie. That's fact, but it's also fact that he's already happily married, I think. Oh wait, <gasps> it's her enemy Sage. Oh my gosh, rude introduction to Sage. It's her enemy that you guys download. Of course, the first Sim that spawns is one of the enemy Sims, but it's okay. Sage is trying to steal her look. We gotta go have a argument with Sage. There she is, go talk to Sage. Be like, what are you doing here from high school? She's like, <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, Sage has this greedy personality type. Oh, they immediately don't like each other. This is fantastic. Let's do some mischievous interactions to Sage since we don't want Sage to like us. <laughs> He just farted towards her. This is so funny. Invite Sage to a fake party. Instill with false confidence. Lie about your career. Be like, my career is so much better than yours, Sage. Give her back news. Ask Sage's due date. <laughs> Sage is like, I'm not pregnant. And you'd be like, oh, my mistake. <laughs> Impersonate mermaids. Be like, this is you. <laughs> Claim to be a criminal mastermind. Oh, Sage is not happy. This is pretty brutal. Ooh, but we're almost to level six, which is what we need for our next level. Actually, wait, what? They're becoming better friends. This is so weird. <laughs> Invite to a fake party. Wait, why are they becoming friends? I don't understand. I thought they were supposed to be enemies. Wait, their friendship keeps going up. What is this? Why is Sage like her? Come on, level six. Yeah, which she's now level three of four of the mischief aspiration. She has to clog three tra drains at three different homes before a voodoo doll five times and achieve a level 10 of mischief gift. Oh, good thing I have the voodoo doll. Do voodoo, tickle her. Okay, she's got to do it five times. Do voodoo, poke, do voodoo, frolic. Does the poke hurt her? It's not doing anything to Sage right now. That's honestly good. I'm kind of happy it's not working, but it's still giving me the stuff because I'd feel bad if it like worked. Her voodoo doll did not work. She doesn't have very good voodoo skill, but that's for the best because I don't think Mint is a mean person. I think she's just a prankster. So I think she's just trying to tease around. I think we should go home. It's like four. We're a little hungry anyway. We succeeded at the chief of mischief skill again, which I love. So now we can go home. I think if we beat this one, we win Chief of Mischief, like it's over. We do need to clog some drains and some homes. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? We're gonna travel to the homes that I know that your guys' Sims are at. We're gonna prank clog their drains while we meet the Sims. These have a drain, the Partners in Crime fam have a drain. We're gonna go to their house, there's four of them. Maybe she can see if she's attracted to any of them. Ooh, okay, here we go, here we go. Scope the surroundings. Let's see if any of these three are people that she finds attractive. Ooh, she does find someone attractive. <gasps> it's this guy, Raphael Williamson. She says, wow, what a sim. Mint fairy just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Raphael Williamson. That man has so many of the qualities that makes Mint's heart race as if it were a cross country marathon. Now the only thing left is to pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Adonis. Hopefully Raphael will be kind enough to receive Mint's feelings. Oh, they could already hook up. No, 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 no. Mint is old school. She wants a, like a romance of the ages. She's gonna go up to him. He's also wearing glasses. <gasps> what a hottie. Ask his personality type. I'm still learning about myself. Hopefully next time I have things figured out. He doesn't know what his personality type is yet. Oh wait, invite me in Raphael. <laughs> Knock on the door. Hopefully he'll let us in. That did not work out, but she does find him really attractive. Okay, Tobias, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone in the house? This could be her like new squad. I wanna see what her vibes are for these Sims that she's just met. Like Raphael, extremely attractive she finds Raphael. And then what about Tobias? Also extremely attractive. Okay, she vibing both of them though. Oh no, she's breaking out. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's clog the toilet, all right? Oh, don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught, go here. Clog drain, okay, she has to do it in the sink. Oh no, she's getting caught! She's like, what the heck, Minth? And Minth is like, oops. <laughs> you gotta go talk to the boys. Be like, I'm just so bored today. What have you been up to? Oh my god, wait! Oh my gosh, are two of the Sims hooking up? Okay, well then we're not gonna go for him then. He's hooking up with someone else while we're here. Oh my gosh, who did he hook up with again? I forgot who that other girl is in the house. That's like gonna be, her, that was her bestie, the rainbow haired girl. Oh my gosh, I am shook right now. <gasps> Lyra and Raphael. I was vibing Raphael more too, but oh no. I mean, maybe he's kind of a player though. I don't know, that's so sus. Get to know, why are you so weird, man? Oh, they liked it. They both thought it was funny. He shows the signs of the artist personality type. Talk about a topic related to the artist personality to make a positive impression. Okay, discuss interests. And then Lyra just comes over like, hey, what's up guys? Like they didn't just hook up in that closet in front of everyone. This is so awkward. Lavender's like, I'm so over these roommates. <laughs> 
Why don't we go home? Nine. This was awkward as sin. She's not besties yet with Lyra. So technically, like, it's, it's not like Lyra East even said that she likes him. They just hooked up, so it could literally be nothing. So she could still get with Raphael. I think he's off the table, TBH. Okay, let's, uh, plan outfits. Skin details. Now we do can have lashes and glasses. Maybe we'll do, I like these subtle-ish ones. I like that one. Now we have lashes and glasses, so thank you all for suggesting that. Okay, why don't you go to sleep and then we'll be all ready for work tomorrow. And then after work tomorrow, we will throw maybe a party. She's feeling flirty today. Wait, why don't you send a little texty? Send a little flirty text to Tobias. Be like, hey, what's up? So nice meeting you. Wink. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. <gasps> he asked her out, but we have like work really soon. We can like get a drink before work. It didn't happen. It's kind of weird. I feel like that's a glitch that happened just now that she couldn't go with him to that thing. Make sure to comment below who your favorite uh, Sim 4 Mint is. Who are you vibing? Wait, Raphael flipping works with us now. Oh my God. No! <laughs> I wish it was the other guy. Is it that Tobias? Is Tobias anywhere else? She's feeling like flirty and he's here at work. This feels like Grey's Anatomy, except for the opposite. She didn't hook up with him, a different girl did. She doesn't have to talk to him. <gasps> She's gonna gossip to Paka Ua and be like, listen, I heard some major tea, our new coworker. I saw him hook up with another girl at his house. I was trying to introduce myself to the new neighbors and he hooked up while we were all in the same room <laughs> in the closet. Tell Paka the news, be like, okay. I was over playing some pranks and then uh, our new coworker totally hooked up with his room. Me. Oh my gosh, Paka's like, oh, that is tea. But let's go ask this guy, Raphael, for a medal. He's flirting with Eliza Pancakes, I know it. He's just flirting it up with everyone. Ugh, Paka, with your dumb green eyes. She's feeling very flirty. Get away from him, he's not worth it. We're gonna put one of these down. Yep, hopefully then she could water it after I plant the strawberries myself. There we go, discuss work. She's like, how's work been going for you, Paka? It's going good. Okay, get to know coworker. We are definitely going to get to know Raphael. I'm just so curious about him. <laughs> he's such a little player. Be like, what is your deal? <laughs> he's a jester personality type. He's just like her bestie. Oh my gosh. Is he embarrassed because he knows that she was there and he's like, I'm so embarrassed that she saw that, that she caught me and now she's at my work. Wait, look at that look he's giving her as she walks away. All right, we got to focus on our work. Wait, Hazel doesn't seem to be at work today. Did he replace Hazel? Hazel's not down here either. I think he might've replaced Hazel at work. I'm so sad that she doesn't have her work BFF anymore. She's talking to her constructor for 10 minutes. Yes. Okay, let's analyze a plan. Annabelle Webster says, I just hacked into your phone and saved my number. Can I also read your text? No, you creep. Don't do that, Annabelle. Oh, and some shift. <gasps> We've been promoted to sequencer. Yes, she will now make a total of an additional nine simoleons per hour for a grand total of 48 simoleons per hour. She also received the bonus of 312 in a chemistry lab. This is more than enough reason to celebrate because she just got a promotion. So she's gonna have a party at her house. Hot daydreaming, Mintz remembers Raphael with a no! <laughs> Mint's head remembers Raphael Williamson fondly as memories of him begin to populate their mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Raphael manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring Mint intense amount of joy. Oh, she loves a bad boy. So we're celebrating Mint and invited is Lyra. Should we invite Lyra? I feel like we should. They're like in good terms. Hazel's definitely invited. Let's invite Tobias. And then we have to invite Raphael. Paka is gonna be invited too. And then so let's invite Sage too. Maybe Eliza. Mint, you gotta get cute really fast. 
Oh my gosh, it's Tobias. Call him over. Oh my, no! <laughs> it's Raphael. And Sage is wearing her outfit. Sage! I want just like a little cheap wall speaker that she can turn on and have some like fun music. She's got to talk to Raphael. Go brighten his day. She's like, oh, hey, um, thanks for coming to my party. Oh, Eliza's like, hey, Paco, welcome to the party. If we do start vibing Tobias, I feel like we should at least check with Lyra, see if it's chill. Like you don't have to check in with someone who's like, you don't know that's been hooking up with someone, but it would be nice, right? So hook up in Bush, no. Lyra's really flirting up a storm. I mean, she's really just talking to Raphael. Oh no, are you okay, Hazel? Maybe Hazel was sick from work and that's why she didn't come in, but she wouldn't miss her besties party for the world. Ask if he's single. Cause if he's single, maybe he's fair game. If he's not single, she'll back off. Raphael is single, oh no! They're like good friends already, which is interesting. Aw, she's throwing confetti for her, but <gasps> he wrote a little party horn for her. That's so cute. She threw some confetti like, yeah, promotion. He's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you got it. <laughs> Ask about attractive preferences. I like body piercings. She doesn't really have any body piercings. Oh, she's celebrating. I'm gonna let them just go. Oh, he threw the confetti with her. He's very down to celebrate her victories with her, which is so cute. She had too many drinks. She's a little drunk. Oh no. Everyone else is leaving but him. Wait, and Lyra, this is awkward. She's blushing so much. Why is Lyra still here? Lyra's like, all right, uh, peace out. I'm tired. I feel guilty now. All right, she's like, bye. I don't know how to feel about that because before I was like, all right, well maybe the Lyra thing was just a one-time thing, but then Lyra just stayed and watched them. I'm like, oh no. Maybe she should just be friends with him. I don't know. She keeps like having thoughts about him though. She's clearly interested. Well, we're gonna go to work with her. We didn't do a lot of good stuff for her promotion. So today will just be a day at work. She's a little, she's still drunk. She went to work still drunk. This is bad. Let's go get her food. All right, she needs to get something really quick. Ask a coworker for metal and then ask a DNA sample from a sim. I mean, she technically could ask for his DNA. <laughs> what? Violating principles? I didn't know. Oh, I thought it was a pre-made vegetarian meal. All right, discuss work with him and then ask him for a DNA sample. Oh, he said no to the DNA sample. Okay, she'll go ask for a DNA sample for someone else. I don't know why he said no. It's like for work, bro. Don't be weird about it. Oh, Hazel's got one too. Hazel's got a headache. That is hilarious. All right, why don't you ask Hazel for a DNA sample? She got a DNA sample from Hazel. Her BFF got her. There's Paka. Okay, let's gossip again. Be like, Paka, I have something to confess. I have a crush on a coworker. And Paka's like, which one? And I'm like, I can't tell you that. She's like trying to stay in that room with him. Oh, she's happy. That's good. Although she's getting stinky, which is uncomfortable, but that's okay. She's got to work out on a treadmill. And then after you work out, we'll have you shower and get a breakthrough. Oh, she She's so cute in her work. Ugh, look how cute she is. Raphael could be so lucky to have a hottie like her interested in him, all right? Now that you're stanky, go take a thoughtful shower. There, she had the breakthrough. Perfect. Let's uh, go analyze the Snapdragon. Ooh, someone broke the computer. It looks like it was Paka. Paka, why you do that? Sage just said, I heard you became friends with Raphael and Williamson. He's pretty cool. Sage, shut up. Be chill, Sage. She's only got an hour left of the work day. We didn't get a ton done, but it's okay. Ask a coworker for a crystal, okay. Dang it, we were so close. She did a good job today. Discoveries and industrious science were made aplenty. Okay, so she did a good job at work. It was obviously a little rough. She was a little hungover. She got a huge crush. Her bestie was hungover. Let's have some dinner. We have two more elements. Okay, that one's not new. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have only one element left. This is amazing. And we, I think, are five out of 10 in logic, and we are four out of 10 in our stuff. So we're I'm almost halfway through the mint generation. Oh, she just had a, a breakthrough. Yes, eighth breakthrough. Let's go. And then I want her to do some computer stuff, send some train letters to the people that already don't like her. <laughs> That way we can get up our mischief again. Yeah, everyone's super mad at her, but it's all good. I wanna invite over Lyra. I feel weird about the whole situation with her liking, you know, her roommate and she knows that Lyra hooked up with him, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Lyra likes him. Is Lyra even gonna come? Is she even gonna show? It's been like a couple hours. Maybe Lyra doesn't like us. 
Aww, it's 2 a.m. We should go to bed. Uh, okay. While we're gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna add some minty little extras, you know? I feel like it would be cute to have a little something in the hall. Or we could do some shelving right here. What if she got a pet? I kind of want her to get a pet now because that sounds so cute. So I've watched Claire's and in every generation she has a pet and I think that's so cute. I don't want to copy her, but I do really love that. that that they all get pet. Let me know in the comments if you want her to get a pet. That would be so cute if she adopted. I think I might leave this episode here. A lot has happened. So we are now at level three of four of the Chief of Mischief skill. We have a level six of mischief and level five of logic in the skill. So we're over halfway through our skills. We only have two elements left and we are at the fourth level of the science career out of five and we have maybe a potential love interest i want to know your guys's thoughts she did try to call and talk to lyra ditched us or lyra wasn't available and i don't know which it is part of me is like she should go for it it's a lot of drama and then part of me is like i don't know maybe they should just be friends so let me know what you guys are thinking she was really crushing on him hard though this episode so it's a big mystery i don't i'm not quite sure what to make of it but but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying it. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!